Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even like milk. Phoenix High School, I'm Lucas Finger and welcome to Eagle Wings, based on the show with hot questions and even hotter wings. Today we're joined by Dr. David Kelly. He graduated Nixa High School in 2000 and Evangel University in 2005, most recently earning his doctorate in education. He was also recognized as a Springfield Business Journal 40 Under 40 award winner and has been your high school principal for the last three years. Dr. David Kelly, thank you for joining us. Thank you. So how do you handle Spice? What's your relationship with it? You know, um, I like things a little spicy, but I'm a little, I'm a little concerned what we're getting ourselves into here, but we'll find out. Yeah. I think I'll be all right. All right. <laughs> As a guy that's only had Tabasco sauce, let's dive in. And the first wing, just take a little bite. Not bad. No? I think I can handle that. Yeah, I think yeah. that's fine. So in high school you were part of the art program uh, for a period of time. Could you just tell us a little bit about that? <clears throat> yeah, so I had a great art teacher. Um, I won't tell you her name. She no longer teaches here, so I guess that really would be irrelevant. But um, she told me one time, she said, you know, if you promise to never take another art class, I will pass you. And so um, I finished the last drawing and uh, she passed me, and that was uh, my illustrious art career at Nixa High School. So, so why did why did she? Was it were the art? Was it just not as good as you would think, or is it? I think there was a combination of effort and ability. Okay. So, it did not lack effort, but it definitely lacked ability. That's um, true. And uh, she, we were not supposed to draw stick figures, but I didn't really advance beyond that category. Yeah, I can only draw stick figures. Oh. I, that's the only thing. It was pretty rough. Yeah, All right. it was not good. So now we'll move on to the next one. Okay. Or, I mean, we can slow down, but I mean, this works. That's all right. Well, all right. And there should, you should be able to see, they're kind of dry by now, but there should be a little, like, layer on top. Okay. I just want to try and bite into that. So if I don't bite into that, I'm cheating. <laughs> Maybe a little. <laughs> Okay. So far, I'm fine. All right. So, this one, you're stranded on an island, right? You know the classic question: you're stranded on an island, and you can only bring three things. What three things are you bringing? Because I'm on camera, I have to say my wife. <laughs> okay. Um, which is probably I'd probably bring her anyways, but I'm trying to think of things that would be useful. So, not saying my wife's not useful, but <laughs> um, man. That's a tough question. So obviously my wife. I do like my wife. I love my wife. Um, this is actually pretty warm. Um, <laughs> the uh, <clears throat> um, let me think. Um, I definitely bring. I'd bring some sort of seeds because you could plant those, right? Okay. And then hopefully you could grow the seeds and continue to eat off of what you grew. Yeah. So not like sunflower so, seeds. Like correct. Like something that was sustainable. Yeah. Some sort of sustainable thing. Gotcha. Um, and then I'd probably bring something for enjoyment, but I don't know. I mean, if I was stranded, it'd depend on how long I was stranded for. Do I need off the island? I, I mean, you can be on the, you can like create a city on the island or you can huh. just want to get off. Because of if I was trying to be rescued off the island, that might be a completely different set. Yeah. I named two. So we'll go with the third thing is um, I like to golf. So I'd bring my golf clubs. I yeah. Like you, just, you know, in my spare time. Yeah, make like a golf course. Yeah, you know, right. But yeah. I don't have any fire or, you know, water or anything like that. So I probably wouldn't last yeah. for a long at that point. Fire is very on my mind <laughs> at the moment. All right, you ready to move on to the next one? I think so. It's got a kind of a light kick to it. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> if you can't feel your that. lips, is that a problem? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> Back of my throat's going numb. All right. So, your baseball career was a highlighting time 
in your high school career, but what can you tell us about your time on the basketball team? <laughs> so basketball team, I was a, uh, if they would have had all state JV, I would have been all state JV. Um, but they don't have that because it's JV. But um, no, I, I enjoyed my time on the basketball court, but um, I played three years at JV, which is actually quite an accomplishment. <laughs> <coughs> so if I just spit on you, I apologize. Oh, I tried to breathe in oh, while you were talking. Yeah, that was my mistake too. Oh. So, uh, so yeah, it was, a, it was a good time. I actually played a little bit of JV my freshman year and then continued my JV career my sophomore and junior year. Um, we did win a state championship uh, my junior year, so at least we were, you know, I played JV on a really good team, but uh, I enjoyed yeah. basketball, it was fun. Those are warm. Yeah, this one's the one. She tried it and said that it takes forever. So it just, that, for her, it lasts about a half an hour. Well, the long, yeah, the longer we sit here, yeah, it's just it, breathing in. Hotter it gets. Yeah, right, so. All right, so you're gonna power through? Or? I think so. You said, I think right, so. Power through? Yeah. All right, this next one is Widow. So this is where okay. we get away from kind of the more, it's Tabasco and then Melinda's and then Tabasco again. This is where we get into the more like, there's a spider on the cover and that's their business model. So what kind, before we start here, what kind of editing is gonna be done to this video? I'm gonna try to play fair here and find a spot that's got. Yeah, me too, I can barely see it. See? Uh oh. All right, you're gonna tell. All right, good. Wrong bite. The wing's good. <laughs> it does have a good flavor to it. Yeah, but I'm feeling the sweat starting to... Wow. So, yeah. <sighs> my nose is running, my <laughs> perspiring. So, this is great. Whew. Yeah, so, if a movie was made about you, yeah. Right. <coughs> Whoa, shouldn't have swallowed. <laughs> so the Dr. Kelly Saka. Yeah. What genre would it be? It'd be who would play you? It would be a comedy. There's no <laughs> doubt about that. Um, I enjoy my day-to-day, -day, but I think at the end of the day, you could write almost everything into some sort of comedy. Uh, something funny. Um, but I don't know who would play me. I've never really been, I've never had, what's the term? The uh, Man, it's amazing how when your tongue is on fire, nothing comes <laughs> fires in the brain either. Um, is it doppelganger? Yeah. What's that term? I've never really had anybody say that's your doppelganger. Huh. But so I don't, I don't know who would play me. Gotcha. Because I don't honestly think I'm really that funny of an individual. I think I just get put in funny situations like eating hot wings and trying to talk. We like to have fun. That's yeah. The thing. Yeah. This is the epitome yeah, of fun, right? Like to have fun <laughs> at school too. All right, so then the last one. Oh, man. So I haven't told you the Scoville scale on any of these. Okay. But now with the last one coming. So this one is Dave's Ultimate Insanity Hot Sauce. Okay. This one we started with was 1,000. Not 1,000 on the Scoville. This one is 250,000. And then the one we just had was 90. Okay. I so, wasn't real strong in math either, but I was just doing some math in my head there. Gotcha. So this one this is about three times more than what we just had. Great. Looking forward to it. <laughs> it's been excellently coded by Zeltson, who... Thank you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright. You ready? put some extra on his, right? Oh, yeah. oh, it's just all covered. Oh, it is doused in. <laughs> that was a big bite, too. Oh, that was, that was a mistake. I was, uh, I feel it. Oh, my. Whew. Is the nurse handy? <laughs> my hands are orange. Oh, my God. <laughs> I don't even like milk. <laughs> so. Meaning you, I don't, I don't, I don't know if I got enough. This is gonna be a mistake. Okay. <clears throat> it's stuck in the back of my throat is my issue. That second bite was a mistake. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so meeting your, whew. <laughs> so meeting your boss for the first time. Meeting who? Meeting your boss. My boss. I okay. can't hear either now. Gotcha. Meeting your boss, <sighs> whew. 
getting hotter. Can I? Yeah. Meeting your boss for the first time is always an important, <coughs> an important moment. But I've heard that you had an interesting first meeting with Dr. Lowe. That is a true story. You want me to explain? <laughs> is that the question? It would be. So yes, uh, so uh, I have a Christmas suit that I wear um, and it is uh, pretty bright, pretty get your attention-ish. And uh, they announced, that's hot. Don't feel like it's about to fall off. <sighs> I'm not crying because of this story because it's not that good. <laughs> um, the, uh, but the story, oh, I should not have wiped my eye. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Uh, now my eye's on fire. So they, this, what happened is they hired Dr. Logan the day before and I was gonna wear my Christmas suit and um, they said, hey, we're gonna bring him by the buildings the next day. And I was like, man, I don't know if I should wear a Christmas suit. That's not a very proper way to introduce yourself. But um, I went ahead and I did it. And uh, you know, one thing he told me when he hired me as principal, he's like, you know, the one guy that I remember from the time that I first walked through Nixa is the guy that introduced himself to me in a Christmas suit. So the good news is the risk paid off, I guess, yeah. in the end. But uh, yeah, I was in a Christmas suit. I had Christmas lights on. Um, and I, I might have even had like an elf hat on that day. So it was quite the quite the way to meet your boss for the first time. Yes, no, I bet. I, I've heard yes. it's like a, like a Jim Halpert moment. That would be a, yes, a very good <laughs> description. It's possible so, you have one <clears throat> wow. Yeah. That is definitely warm. It's the back of my throat. Yeah, it really is. So, so can you, whenever he walked in, what, what was the initial reaction? What, 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 would you, what was going through your head? <coughs> I actually first kind of sheepishly hid in the background, hoping maybe he wouldn't even be introduced to me, because I was assistant principal at the time. Yeah. And then, uh, but then he eventually introduced me. He did have his wife with him, and she thought it was hilarious, so that made me feel a little bit better. Um, she had my, her, and then their son, their oldest son, was with him as well. So mm -hmm. it wasn't too bad. And I thought, you know, he's going to meet a ton of people. This uh, gets hotter and hotter. How does it keep getting worse? That's my question. Um, and uh, I think that I, it just, yeah, it, it went well. <laughs> I said hi, shook his hand, and that was about it. That's great. So I didn't even know if he'd remember my name at the end of the day. Yeah, well, so. you clearly made an impression making, you know, <coughs> being hired as principal. I think uh, you, I should challenge Dr. Loden to be your next guest on <laughs> the show. Would be, that'd be great. It would be, I hope I wouldn't have to go hot. <laughs> you've taken on the five, the five hot sauces we brought yes. today and you've, you've conquered them. You made it through very well. I'm very impressed. <laughs> Especially, I, I, I can't, I can't feel my mouth at all. So that camera, this camera, what's going on in your life? <laughs> it's really hot right now. That's what's going on. So I don't know. Other than that, I don't even know if I can think straight at the moment. But that is a hot, hot sauce wherever that came from. That's what's going on. Would, would you consider buying that to put on your absolutely, barbecues? Absolutely not. <laughs> it will not be purchased by me. If you enjoyed this episode, please check out the inspiration of it called Hot Ones at youtube.com slash firstwefeast and let us know who we should interview next. I'm Lucas Finger. Stay safe and we'll see you next time.